What's up, YouTube world? Chris here with, I guess we'll call it Kelly's Detail Garage or Kelly's Garage. You guys pick a name. How about that? Help me out with a name. We got to figure out maybe we should name this. Maybe we should name this little hole in the wall garage. How about that? Uh, tonight, we're going to be doing a Metco idler pulley kit. Um, this morning, I just got the Vibrance installed. So that video is coming soon. Uh, you can see the factory resonators there. And then keep scrolling to the right and you'll see the Metco idler pulley kit. Uh, I'm gonna show you what it comes with. And then I'll show you what you need to install it. Excuse my Coke. Uh, so this is the box. I'm gonna show you what it comes with and the tools to install it. Oh, it does have the number on the side, sweet. All right, so it's a billet pulley set, 2015 and newer Hellcat Charger Challenger H HC dash kit. All right, so long story short, it is a Metco idler pulley kit. Um, should look to be a pretty simple install. I'm going to show you the tool that you'll need. This is an eight mil Allen wrench. That's going to be for the bolts that hold the pulley kit on, and then for the removal of the factory pulleys, uh, or yeah, idler pulleys, we're going to show you what you'll need for that. I'm going to use a breaker bar, and I believe it's a 15. So I was right, it is a 15 mil to get access to the, both of the factory bolts once you're here. You'll see this is the first, first pulley that has the ribs. And then the, call it like a slick pulley or whatever, is going to be right here. So that's the 15, and those are 15 here. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and crack them loose with the belt still on. Uh, this one, once you get it loose, you just want to kind of crack it loose, because once you push it forward to relieve the belt, you'll see that... I put a 15 on here, slide the tensioner forward, get it off the pulley. And we will come back. All right, once we got it back, go ahead and slide it off. In here. And then you'll see we have our belt right here, right? We'll go ahead and tuck that out of the way. Or at least try to. Go ahead and get this one off. So since you have the belt off, now is going to be a pretty good time to clean all the the belt slip residue if you can. I mean, you don't really have to, but it just has to clean it up. Um, the good thing about these aftermarket idler pulleys is you'll notice that the size the sizes are different. We'll do a side by side. We'll do a side by side comparison of what the two sizes are. Um, the billet idler pulleys are supposed to be a little bit bigger in diameter. That way it helps limit the belt slip. For more, you know, less belt slip is more boom, boom, little push, push, bang, bang, rapa, pui. So you can see it's, it's slightly oversized. You can see that lip. All right, so getting them measured out, um, the ribbed pulley measures out about roughly an eighth of an inch larger. 
uh, that the biggest noticeable difference that I can I can notice is the, the the weight is a huge difference. This thing feels like a brick, and this thing just feels like obviously hollowed out billet aluminum, and this thing's just look like solid steel with who knows like a dinosaur bearing in it. Feels really really heavy. So the comparison is a lo a little bit larger in diameter with the ribbed pulley and a lot less weight. Um, the non ribbed pulley. Uh, once again, massive difference. This thing feels like I could throw it through the wall, and this thing feels like if I threw it at the wall, I would just ding it and fall. I mean, it's the size and weight is just big, big difference. Uh, I believe this is a 16th larger than the factory one. Uh, you'll notice that the bolt does not come out of the non-ribbed pulley. And if you go to the kit, this bolt does not come out. Where the rib pulley, the bolt comes out. Non-rib pulley, bolt does not move. One crucial step you will not want to miss is make sure you put blue Loctite on it. Um, both bolts, doesn't have to be a lot, just enough to keep it in there. Uh, side note, the factory had red Loctite on it. So do not skip the, I don't know if you can get that, can you see the red Loctite? So it had red Loctite on it, so make sure to not miss the step of putting Loctite back on the, the, new, the new billet. You can use either an 8mm or a 5 uh, to get in there. I was trying to do it the old hard way I had a whole lot of clearance with this belt there but or this coolant line there So I don't think you have to tighten these too, too tight because the inertia of the belt spinning is gonna go ahead and tighten it for you. I would just go ahead and get it snug. And what should happen is, it should just get tight for you. Really hope these videos are helping some of you guys out there. I appreciate all the feedback. Uh, so you guys a friend requested me on Facebook making me feel special um, No, but for real, you know going back and forth with fellow car enthusiasts and car guys It's not always easy making these videos because I'm like awkwardly awkward <laughs> In front of a camera. I don't feel like I can just talk to a camera like some of these youtubers and stuff um, I've never really saw myself as like doing videos or even being on YouTube so anyway, I appreciate like all the feedback and talking back and forth with like-minded people. It's really fun. Um, so and like I said, it gives me something to do in the garage. It's cool. Uh, by the way, I got these used, so I think brand new. They're around three twenty-nine, three thirty, three forty. Um, ended up getting these off a Facebook deal. I paid one seventy-five ship, uh, and all I did was got them in my shop, cleaned them up re-oiled the bearings and I don't think that they were even really that used so if you can find them used get them used if not you know get them new in my opinion these things are like bricks uh, there's a huge difference in weight so the rotational mass alone is going to be a big difference and they also say um, with the size difference it'll help with belt slip so if you look I don't have an aftermarket tensioner so I was looking for bigger pulleys to help create Less belt slip, so these bigger idler pulleys should definitely help with that. We'll go ahead and get this thing all buttoned back up and I'll show you how to get that done.
sure when you're putting everything back on that you feel the, the belt is in the grooves. Slowly go back, check your stuff. Make sure even down here, your idler pulley on the very, the smooth one, make sure that's lined up. You don't want this belt to walk either way. Because if it does, that'll be a big boo-boo. All right, I think that's it. Looks like we're all installed. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, do whatever else YouTubers do and stuff like that. Yeah, I told you I'm not good at it. Um, but yeah, ho hopefully this, this, this video helps. And feel free to fire away in the comments. Let's get to ripping.